so here we are day two kind of checking testing her retention now don't be too harsh on the correction okay. just reach out and touch just let her feel she's being tickled back there and let her there and now ask her again there and there so we're just testing her retention from yesterday that looks all good now we'll check her retention to the right her right eye was the tough one to bring in push her on out there Let's see if she wants to bring her eye to us there looky here all in a matter of just a few minutes yesterday and then uh, a test this morning boy look how good she's doing happy happy now just make her move there now just get your hands up on her and and now now walk away from her let her know you're kind of done there say you stood still I you let me pet you and I left you alone for a minute nice good then pet her. nice huh that didn't take much did it trade hands mm-hmm there we go and then ask for her hip now gather up some rope before you do it there you go and go in there pet her go way down that rope look what you're doing with your right hand you're starting to cross over again so if you'll slide your hand farther down that rope so it's shorter you won't feel compelled to pull the slack out of it like that okay, okay. so your lead rope's a little long look your right hand went clear over to your left hip there drive her hip away you see you're just using her eyes are you going to follow through and use phase two three and four or are you just going to keep using phase one you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So you just got, you just get. If it's an accident, we reward accidents. I wiggle my fingers. Very good. I wiggle my fingers. Very good. I mark you here, pet her like I own her. Good girl. As long as she stays straight, I wiggle my fingers, correct her to the hip, don't pull on her face. Back up. If she leaves, I'll correct her through this hip. Drag her back to center. Make sure she's straight. I wiggle my fingers, tap on there. So much there. And that's her cue to back up. And tap on the rope. Very good. I wiggle my fingers, and tap on the rope. Very good. You always let her live with that one. Okay, here you go. Nice, there you go. There, she's nice and square to you. So you're gonna walk up there and present left eye to left shoulder. There, there, really good, really good. Right eye, right shoulder. Very good. Beautiful. I liked it a lot. Here in just a second, and kind of where you are, yeah. um, just kind of step towards the back of her a little bit and present that whip to her hind, see if she wants to just move just her hip. Nice. And then ask her again here in a second. Put the whip just towards the hinds. Tap there. Good. And then go to the other side. there? Yep. So. We go to introduce this to her. Any sign of acknowledgement, we'll just kind of take it away from her. And then, there we go. She got a little bit of a crawly skin there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep going. And then, so what I want her to, this, this is what I call a, a desensitization. Ties emotion there. Good girl. Okay. Then the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna take it up there, just like you were doing. Yeah. And then a, okay. A desensitized emotion. Oh, you can't see it there, but her skin just really 
tightens up there. Yeah. And, uh, Euro. Euro. There. I'll get a little more animated with it so I don't feel like I'm sneaking around with it much. Right. And then I'll be, I'll be pretty, uh, Mustangs, but you got to be careful so they don't start to strike at you. Yeah. I wanted to know the difference between this, a desensitizing motion, and then this, a driving motion. Mm -hmm. So she should be moving when she feels this angle occurring. Okay. Or I will start to drive her up. Okay, that okay. makes sense. So then, right here, if she went to kind of quit on me, I'd put my energy right at her rib cage for forward. And then we'd ask for that hip to go away. Good. Good. Just by Good. We want her to find a quiet place here on her own. But if it comes at you like this, like this, you should probably move off. If it goes at you like this, you should probably move your hip. Good. Good. If it comes at you like this, you should probably be moving away. If it goes like this, you should probably be moving your hip. Don't be afraid. Move your hip and change directions. Good. And then, then I can start saying, here, just change directions. Good. Then I can say, here, just change directions. And the whole time, I'm holding my hand right here my belly. You like it? Better for that, without startling her. Shorten your line up just a little bit so you can just shorten your line a little. Now, right about here, Kenzie, I would just leave her there for. Yeah, take it. Yeah, slow, slow. Leave her right there. Pat on her. Just leave. And when her front feet come off, go straight down and right to the middle of her chest to see if you can't stop her front feet and leave her hind feet on there. Don't pull to the left or the right or you'll kick her hip off. Right. But just and straight down to her chest right there. Ooh, pat and pat and pat and pat and pat and pat. And then just straight on out, and then straight away. And walk straight away. 